four and four to Italy for, for ten days. It's got to be a pretty special opportunity for you. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. You know, we got a new team, so we got a chance to meet you. It's my first time going overseas, so I'm really excited about that. But I think it's an opportunity for us, for us to really grow with each other, you know, learn each other more, you know, become our best friends. So the closest teams are the ones who are the best on the court. What are you looking forward to the most in terms of going over there, playing some great European talent, but also I imagine getting to know your teammates well uh, as well? Um, really just the experience, you know, I get a chance to really value the, uh, the United States, you know, you get to see the different experience and different cultures, so I'm really excited about that. How much do you know about the teams you're going to be playing, the quality of basketball you're going to face? Um, I know they're very skilled over there, very fundamental, but the teams exactly I don't know much about. In terms of food over there, are you looking forward to a certain pasta, pizza, something else over there? Uh, no, I mean, I like Italian food. I'm, I'm open to try new things, so I'm not really worried about the food part. What do you think of your new teammates, all these transfers coming in? What, what stands out to you about them early on? Um, you know, they're all great guys, all great people, great on and off the court. You know, I'm excited with them. I mean, they're showing a great impact since the day they've been on campus. So I feel like the more time we move on, it's going to be great. How important is it to have a veteran leader like you as well, CJ, mentoring these new guys? Um, it's great because we get a chance to lead and we know what the coaches expect. So we get to come in each day and show the guys what's, what's happening and uh, how we do things. Who stands out to you so far? Who's, uh, who's caught your eye? Um, Tyler Henderson has caught my eye a lot. Uh, Tyler Henderson's. You know, he's playing his brother's shadows a little bit, but he's very skilled and he's a very tough player. So I think he'll be big for us this year. How do you hope to use this trip as a stepping stone into your Big 12 debut season? Um, just a chance to build together. You know, the Big 12 schedule, you know, we got a lot of competition. So I think we're looking forward to that as a team. You know, big opportunities, a lot of teams coming here, and we're going to special places. So I just think as long as we come together and stay strong, and we'll be good. You mentioned Tyler just maybe living in his brother's shadow a little bit. I mean, what have you seen from him in practice that maybe you to push forward even though his brother is off the NBA now? Um, Tyler just does things like literally all over the place. He offers the rebounds, gets steals. He's very slithery. Um, he can shoot the ball. He's very skilled, finish around the rim. So it's just Tyler, Tyler's special. He's special. How does it feel seeing Taylor do what he's done in the last couple of weeks? Um, it's great. You know, I love Taylor. Taylor and his little brother, uh, Tyler, you know. I knew Taylor was going to be special from the day he got here. Each day he continued to grow and get better in this game. So I'm excited for him this season. Being able to travel with your teammates, what do you learn that maybe translates to better play on the court? Uh, you just learn how people respond to certain things, you know, what people like and what people don't like. So I just think the better that goes on, then it'd be easier for us to play together on the court. All good? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Get the chance to know your teammates a little I'm super excited. It's a chance for us to bond as a team, get closer, being away from home. So, super excited to be with the guys. Is this your first uh, chance going overseas and, and going internationally? Yes, sir. It is my first chance. Um, I actually got my passport early this summer when I found out yeah. I was going to be coming here. So, I'm super excited. What brought you to UCS? What was interesting about this opportunity? Um, really, the coaching staff, the players really stood out to me. What they had uh, going out the door and coming back, honestly. I feel like we have a great opportunity to do some big things in the Big 12. What did you know about UCF before you got here? Um, I, I followed them a little bit when they had Taco Fall in that tournament team, and they played against Duke. Being a North Carolina kid, I watched that game, just following them, you know, a little bit from there. How would you describe the culture and the welcome that you've gotten from your teammates? Always been nothing but love for my teammates. Um, they embraced me from day one when I got here early in the summer. And that's just what I'm like. If you're new to UCF, describe your game. What are folks going to see? Um, really an all-around player. can do it on both ends. Get it done offensively and defensively. Get my uh, teammates the easiest shot possible. And also myself the easiest shot possible. You're going to be playing some older teams over in Europe. What has Coach told you about the level of talent you're about to face overseas? Um, physicality is uh, what, what stood out most to me. They're uh, super big and strong. But we've been working all summer with with Rock and our coaching staff, so we're super excited. Darius wouldn't give us an answer about who he's looking forward to, but you get, there's got to be something you're looking forward to in Italy for food. Pasta, pizza? Uh, pizza? I'll probably say pizza. Yeah. yeah. What kind of pizza? I'm a chicken guy, like chicken on top of my pizza, right. different things like that. Since you've gotten here this summer, I guess what gives you confidence in where this program is at and where they're headed? Um, really, the guys, like how hard we've been working from day one. Um, being in the gym, even on the off time, is like really great. And we have a, a whole bunch of confidence. How important was it UCF moving into the Big 12 and your decision? 
Um, it played a, a really big role. Like growing up as a kid, I've always wanted to play at the um, highest level. And getting the opportunity now is just no brainer. Anything else? Thank All right, you so much. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. Excited for this opportunity. One to go overseas and we feel bond at the team. We have a nod of new players, so guys get familiar with each other. Great to get our chemistry together and, and see a beautiful city. You know, a great opportunity for our guys. Most of them have not been overseas before. So go see another culture, play in another country. I think it'll be a wonderful experience. Could you take us through what kind of teams you're playing, what kind of experiences they're going to have over there? We're playing Euro teams, so all the teams will be, you know, older, more experienced. They'll be men, and uh, there'll be, you know, teams that play a great style of basketball, something that our players over here probably aren't accustomed to, and so that's going to help us build, you know, the team that we want to build. Why Italy? Why was that? Uh, one, I look at culturally, I think there's so much history over there for our guys to see. I think it's a great experience. I've been before, so I think it was a trip that I've enjoyed going on with the team, you know, a few years ago, and I think this team will enjoy the experience as well, both culturally as well as experience of playing some good teams. Good team went to Spain. Chance to spend a lot of time together uh, over there. You, know, you won't spend as much time on your phone as much time you'll spend with each other. And how often do you get to do that in this day and age? Nothing wrong with it. How often do you get a chance to spend quality time with your teammates, your coaches? You know, I think it's great. You know, just talking 24 hours, just being together. And I think it's, every team I've taken over there, I think they've had a wonderful experience. They've gotten better from the trip. How many extra practices do you get as part of this trip? Uh, you get 10 practices as part of the trip. So we have a few more practices to go before we leave. And all that's good for us as well, because it gives us a chance to get familiar with each other. As I mentioned before, with so many new players, you know, everyone's, you know, learning each other. How does your game fit with my game? You know, how does your offense fit with my defense? And so as we start to, you know, put this together, I think, you know, it all come together well for us because of the opportunity to have these practices as well as the trip. In terms of food, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, you know what, you know, I've been over there before, as I mentioned, and uh, I love all the food over in Italy. They do a great job of hosting us, you know, unbelievable people, it's so friendly, and they say the culture's great, and the food is excellent. And so I don't, there's not one meal I like more than another, they all were great to me. So many new transfers and new faces. What has stood out to you in these early practices and similar workouts about some of the guys that you had, Shamari Allen and a couple others? Well, they're still getting comfortable. As you can imagine, you know, this is coming fast for these guys. The 10 practices will be good for us. You know, I'm, I'm learning a lot more about who they are, how they will fit in our system. And they're learning a lot about us, and how we coach, their, our expectations of them. So all these things are coming together now, and as we move forward, I think we just continue getting better. With the changes you've had, how important is it to have guys like Darius and CJ back, veteran presence? You know, very important to have, you know, veterans back, because for us, what that does is they understand our standards. They know our culture. They know exactly what I expect. And so what they're doing a good job of, they're doing a good job of coaching the, the new guys. They're coaching those guys, teaching them from a player's perspective of what we want. And we have to have that, you know. Don't, we need culture keepers, guys that are in this new generation of guys transferring and people playing all over the place. You need to you know, maintain or you know, retain some of your players because they know your culture. If not, you're starting over from scratch. Fortunately, we have those guys returning. It feels like for the transfer portal nowadays, it's music with chairs almost. Uh, Jaquan Walton was supposed to transfer here. He showed up at Memphis one day. What happened with that situation? Well, that's the nature of our sport now. Guys are making decisions. Guys have the ability to, to, to transfer, especially when you're a graduate transfer. You know, up until you know school starts, you have an opportunity to, to, to make decisions and go wherever you want to go. You can change your mind again if you like and go somewhere else. I mean, they just have the flexibility to be able to do that. It's grassroots. So, uh, you know, that's one of those things that happen. We have to continue to recruit, find, you know, players that, that fit, you know, our, our system and what we want to do. And that's what we'll continue to, to go out and search for. You've had some high-profile recruits make other decisions. Has that been frustrating for you as you try to build a roster to see those guys that are highly touted decide to go elsewhere? Well, it's part of the game. You know, we've had highly touted players that, that have, you know, made other decisions. And we've, we've received highly, highly you know, touted players that are coming into our system. So it works both ways. I mean, that's a good thing about college sports. There's no shortage in talent, no shortage in good players. You know, their shortage may be in great players, 
There's no shortage in good players in college basketball, and we'll find the guys that fit our profile that can help us be successful. You recently made an appeal for more Kingdom NIL funding and donations. Have you seen any of that pay off? Yet? Yeah, I think it's been very, very helpful that you know guys have understood the importance of of this new landscape that we're in, and, and fortunately we have you know good people that are you know in our organization. We have good people that are you know former you know alumni here and. And they're going to do the things they think are necessary to continue to help grow, you know, what we want to do, you know, on the basketball court. But also, not just basketball, but for all of our sports, I think the collectives and things of that nature are going to continue to help, you know, us build, you know, successful programs and compete for championships. The Big 12 recently released the home and away matchups. What are your thoughts on who you're traveling to, who you're hosting, just the Big 12 schedule that are going to be coming out Well, for us, you know, I'm just excited to be, you know, having this opportunity to compete in Big 12. And, and all the teams are going to be talented. All the teams are going to be well coached. Uh, there's no one I'm looking forward to probably any more than another other than just having a chance to compete against some really quality teams. And I'm sure that's the way the rest of the Big 12 teams, you know, feel as well. You know, it's an amazing conference. Uh, I say it, you know, we want to put our best foot forward when we start off, you know, conference play. And we're going to work towards that. You stay in state for your non-conference schedule. What was the rationale behind building it the way you did? Well, I think, you know, we've always played amazing schedules. And we, and we have another very good schedule this year. You know, we have some really good teams we're going to play. You know, we have, you know, Ole Miss coming here. Very good team with Coach Beard. They're their new coach, and they'll be a very formidable team. Of course, we go to play Miami at Miami, so that's going to be an amazing road game for us. And then we have a number of games that we think are going to be very competitive because college basketball has changed. I mean, I think we all know from the NCAA tournament, there's a lot of parity in college. There's nobody you're going to go up against that you're going to be head and shoulders better than. Everybody can compete. Everybody has good players. And so you have to be ready to play every night. And so we've got a schedule, I think, that reflects that. I think it'll prepare us for the big four. When you look at the turnover that you were talking about in the college basketball landscape, and then you look at the challenge ahead of you going into the Big 12, what do you want to see sort of in this summer leading up to the season that you see as the keys to be able to sustain a winning culture? Well, we have to get better every day. You know, for us leading into conference play, leading into preseason, to be quite frank, we have to get better every day. We can get better every day. I think when we get to conference play, we get to preseason, I think we'll be well prepared. But if we come in and we come in and just get by and come in and don't do the things we have to do to improve, then, of course, it becomes more difficult. But I, but I love our group. They're working really hard. We keep working the way we're working right now. I think we have a chance to be very successful this upcoming season. You spend a lot of time with the team, of course, in practice. But when you're traveling with them, you go on a plane with them, you're with them day in and day out. What do you learn about these guys? Everything. <laughs> you know, we have great young men, as I said, great student athletes. Uh, and I'm excited to, to spend time with them and work with them. You know, what we do is not just coach, you know, during games. You know, our thing is mentoring, helping develop young men. And uh, we take that very serious. I think sometimes that gets lost in, in the wins and losses and everything that goes along with that. But we're very competitive. But the main thing we want to do is make sure these young people have an amazing life well beyond basketball. And I think we're doing a good job, myself and my staff, preparing them for that challenge, not just the challenge of playing in a game. An experience of a lifetime for anyone, but certainly for a college student. You know what it really is. You know, for a college student, it's an amazing experience. And for our guys using a trip to go overseas, like these young men don't have a chance typically to go on a foreign tour. Like if you're a regular student, if you have a chance to go over and study abroad, you have a chance to do these things. So once every four years for us to have a chance to take a team overseas, to have that type of experience, I think it's very, very important for these young people. And uh, they've always enjoyed it, and they've always got a lot out of it. Anything else? Thank you so much. Thank you, Coach. You guys are welcome.